Hey guys, we're at Milestone MX Park at the third annual Transworld Motocross Mini Major presented by 7MX. And uh, we have a guest announcer here on Saturday, Mr. Alex Ray, who is recovering from a broken back, some fractures in your back, right? Uh, compression fractures. Tyler Bowers, he said it's sort of just a bruised back, so we'll just go, we'll go with that. So is he basically calling you a pussy? Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, whatever. Okay, so how'd that happen? It was at Monster Cup. Uh, in the third final, right? Yeah. Uh, was it early in the moto, late in the moto? Uh, like lap four or five. Um, after the dragon's back, you go around left, and it's like a two, three into the into the tunnel there. And uh, me and another guy, just our lines sort of came together in the air. It took my front wheel out, landed on my back, freaking hurt like hell. You know, I just felt like someone so was, was just no, squeezing me. There was no. No loss of feeling or anything. No, like that. nothing like that. Which was, which is really good. Lucky, you know. Uh, yeah. So, a couple weeks in, a couple weeks out, and uh, yeah, excited to get back with a new team, new bike, everything like that, and start testing. Okay, so you have signed with the HEP HEP Suzuki team, which is Holland. What's HEP HEP? George Holland, former 125 national champion, is one of the owners. I don't know what it is. I haven't asked. And then uh, Pipes is the P. What's the E? Who's the E? I don't know. Well, sorry, E. But anyway, <laughs> so I know that you tested the bike several months ago or a couple months ago. Yeah. And you told me you went up there. And what was your impression of the Suzuki? Impression of the Suzuki, it was, it was really good. You know, I, I had rode it in stock form um, previous, and it was all right. But then uh, once I rode the HEP bike, you know, and they're set up, their engine package and everything like that, it was really, really good. It opened my eyes to, you know, how good of a bike that bike really is. And, uh, and yeah, you know, I'm I'm excited to uh, to collab with them and and make it, you know, even better. So. Okay, so uh, you have signed up with them for the 2000. Oh, I hate the way 50 sound. Yeah. Uh, Skip straight two, to two, 2019 uh, Monster Energy Supercross Series 450 class. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, just uh, you know, my deal is just 19 Supercross. Outdoors is still uh, up in the air, so uh, we'll see how it goes. Well. Uh, I would think they'd want to sign you for outdoors because in those couple well, it's a races. Only team. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay, well, those couple races when you were on the factory Yamaha, you showed some promise, bro. Man, I sent it those few rounds. Like, I was like, it was like nut up or shut up. You know, I had a lot of people, you know, saying that I sucked in outdoors pretty much and uh, I, I didn't want to suck. So mm -hmm. I just freaking locked my elbow down to my knee and just sent it. I mean, I hit the fire lane a few times in the outdoors, almost took out a few cameramen, but uh, I mean, hey, it, it shit happens. Yeah. But then uh, you scored your first ever outdoor points this year, right? Well, this year, it being... Yeah, kind of sad to say, but it, uh, yeah, it's this year. Yeah. <laughs> and I scored a lot of them in outdoors, which is awesome, you know, yeah. not being an outdoor guy, but I guess that's... I guess that's how it goes whenever you actually decide to get in shape. <laughs> okay, so there's a uh, superstition that Alex has. Bad things happen when I wash my bike. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, I mean, every time I wash my bike, the thing feels like it, it goes slower. So I feel like dirty bikes go faster, for one. Oh. Two, I drove to your house. No, 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 back up, back up. What do you mean? The National, where you washed your bike and something went wrong. Oh, yeah, I washed my bike and the thing wouldn't start. And then uh, that was, at, I think, Red Bud. And then, um, and then I drive to your house to wash my bike because I couldn't wash my bike at my place. So, wash my bike at his place. Next day, no bike, stolen. So, no more washing my bike. Any leads on the missing YZ4? Yeah. The search continues. We're still looking. So, Buttery's bike got ripped off and it ended up in Mexico. So That's he says. So. Mine is. They're probably doing wheelies in Tijuana right now. Who knows what they're doing? It sucks. You know, but I don't know what else I can do. You know, I've I've been on the phone with the police department, the agency, everything. Like, it's it's gone. I think, so man. Somewhere, I don't know. somewhere out there, somewhere there could be here. a YZ450 with factory KYB suspension doing wheelies. Oh yeah, there's no rear tire on that thing. They're probably just riding it on rim right now, just you know, going down Tijuana to get tacos. Who knows? Wow. At least it was clean. Yeah, it was clean. All right, so when do you get on a bike, and are you training? Yeah. What, what's the road recovery? Yeah, you know, I, I just started cycling a little bit, you know, just sort of taking things slow because I don't want to really rush it. And, uh, and yeah, you know, um, me and my trainer, I'm, I'm going to head over to Singapore here in a couple, 
couple. Uh, that's super cool. Yeah, yeah. Here in about a week, I'll be over there, and then um, we're gonna do some training there. Come back and then start testing on the new bike once I get back. Training in Singapore. Yeah. Well, my trainer, my trainer Pablo, he was uh, he's like a a bicycle instructor. Yeah. Like he did, did a lot of like spin classes. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna do like six of those a day. Okay. Plus oh, workout. Why, why Singapore? There's a race in Singapore though, right? Yeah. So you're gonna train there before the race. Yeah, I'm going to do some training there. Uh, it's called the Singapore Beach Race. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much racing on the beach. It's no, no, we're racing on the beach in the sand. So will he, you be on a Suzuki? Yes, I will be on a Suzuki. With HEP graphics? Uh, no, I think it's... Shang Wang? No, I think it's one of James's old, uh, like... It's, I think it's got a number seven on it, honestly. Who knows? It's been in storage down in Singapore? It's probably, yeah, it's in storage in Singapore. Oh. Maybe, uh, no, no, it was just like one of the, I think one of the promoters down there. Yeah, one of the promoters down was there. Was James supposed to actually do a race in Singapore at one point, and that's why he has a seven? I have no idea. No, I think that's just Pablo wanting the wanting the shiny stuff. Okay, because I would say you know that promoter was on sniffing glue. <laughs> if he ever thought James was going to show up in Singapore to race. Yeah, probably. Who knows? He, he's, he's where is he now? Who knows? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So are you wearing a a flannel to hide the injury bot? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I gained like two or three pounds this yeah. week, you know, I definitely, Netflix. I def yeah, Netflix, Cheetos. I definitely went out to eat, yeah, like the chips and salsa really, really got me this week, yeah. so. So when you made your return to the cycle yesterday, were you wearing that really lame in-cycle kit? What kit what I, was I? Yeah, I was. That Actually, one had flowers on it or something? No, I wasn't wearing that one. Oh. I forgot, I don't even know which one I was wearing. Yeah, I don't know. They're all forgettable. No, that was that was shredded vapes wearing the in-cycle kit. Yeah, yeah, it was. yeah. His his girlfriend, not girlfriend. Yeah, whatever. All right, so we're gonna call some action today. Do you follow uh, high-level super mini racing at all? Who you got today? I don't know. No? I have no idea. Okay, I have so no idea. Talon we'll Hawkins shredded all three super mini motos yesterday. Okay. So there's like three super mini classes. Uh -huh. He, did, he just killed everybody. You know Talon, all. right? He's the he, so. he rides for Fast House and Hilton. Yeah, that's, is that is that the same company that sponsors Tevin Tapia? Yeah, fat, well they take the S off for him oh, right okay. now, so it's all just right. Fat House. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, well, I'm excited to see some some amateur kids rip it up today. Hopefully, you know, he can do the same thing he did yesterday. Yeah. We'll see. Hopefully, my announcing skills are actually pretty good because I, I would like to I would like to be good at that. <laughs> Career after racing. I need to find something, man. Yeah. I'm getting old. Bike storage, perhaps. Locks. You know, maybe I can maybe I can invent some type of lock apparatus that yeah. so, like someone that just can't break into it. No, you need to operate, uh, invent something that reminds you to actually lock your car. Yeah, or yeah. Not so, leave the keys. Yeah, in. like a phone reminder, like an app. Lock your shit. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming out, man. All right. Thanks.